the back station. And they're trying to inject as much pace as they can. The back has gone off like a bat out of hell, hasn't he? He's really aggressively attacked this. Steering a little bit towards Cox, but he's probably got an early three-quarters of a length. Yeah, the rate for a single there is absolutely bombing on, isn't he? He really has committed hard to this. Not and a very subtle clear. approach. No, he wasn't subtle at all, but it's effective, isn't it? He's taken two legs already. That, he's a strong fella, that just, that just done that straight away. And also Cox on the far side, two or three weeks' time, he's going to be at the Olympic Games. He is, yes, just the sixth Zimbabwean rower ever to appear at an Olympic Games, qualified through the African system a couple of weeks back, and it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. So we've seen singles races where the people have come from a long way behind to win. So we're going to wait and see what sort of rhythm now um, Backer has done, whether he can maintain this and whether Cox really has anything to do. But to be honest, Backer has really done a good job with this, hasn't he? He has, but how much has it taken out of him to do that? You'd think that would be enough, but it's still a long way to go. That's Stephen Cox from Zimbabwe, based in the UK, a lance corporal in the uh, British Army. Yeah, he's been very grateful to the Army who made it possible for him to train properly to try and do this. Um, and he was. Um, he has gone back and done some of his training in Australia. Went to Peterhouse College in Zimbabwe, somewhere I've spent a lot of time. They've got their own uh, training lake there. But now... So he's, next, he's an ex Molsey athlete as well. Yeah. So backer here, coached by Peter Viersen, is He's basically in the hunt for the under-23 single skull for this Dutch team. And we know, if you look at the Dutch Olympic team, the sculling is exceptional. Their quad and their double are outstanding, and their single sculler as well beat Oli Zeidler at the last World Cup. And Oli Zeidler is a multiple winner here. is actually yeah. here racing as well before the Olympics. So this athlete here, so Backer is one of their development athletes for the next Olympiad, and he's hoping to race a single at the Under-23 World Championships in a few in a few months' time in St. Catharines. In so Backer. We said it wasn't very subtle, but it's been extremely effective as he moves in front of the regatta and stewards' enclosures. But I mean, he's a big guy, isn't he? And actually, he sculls very. He is now. He is subtle on the boat. Well, the boat's now, not bouncing yeah, around he's, exactly. He's done the work now, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. He did what it needed to be done, and he's yeah. handling these conditions very well. And you can see there the way the boat, because the boat's about 14 kilos, and he's probably over 95. And the boat, obviously, every time he releases the finish, the boat does sink into the water because the weight is in the boat instead of on the oars. When they scull well, they suspend their weight off the oars and it takes some of the weight off the boat. As soon as they release, the boat drops into the water. But he's still really subtle. Yeah, he has done a good job there. And I'll say with Cox, to be honest, he's, a, he's also a good sculler. His blade work is really good at the front end of the stroke. When the blades go in, just out power, to be honest. Yes, early in the race, and you just asked the question didn't you, whether Backer was going to be able to maintain that all the way through, but he has. He's obviously got more than just explosion off the start. He's got the stamina to and back it up. Cox is coming back at him, but it's only because Backer's really absorbing it, and really, and he's completely within himself. Yeah, so a good race. Interesting way, tactically, that was unfolding. But Backer from the Netherlands will go through, and the Diamond Challenge skulls and for the Zimbabwean Stephen Cox, that's the end of his Henry Royal Regatta this time round.